Hi guys, and welcome back to Amelia Tutorials. So today we're going back to the basics. We're going to show you some of the first setups in your uh, Amelia plugin and how you can configure your schedules and make sure your availability for your bookings is uh, on point. So this is done through our employees and setting up their working hours, days off and everything else. Uh, so without further ado, Alexander, let's just dive right in. Okay. So as Olga said, employees are the most important thing you need to create in Amelia because without an employee, you cannot create a service. So we've got an Amelia test employee right here. And this employee is already connected to the Google Calendar. If you need to check out how to do that, we got another video for that. So the employee is assigned to these two services. And here you can add a custom price for for example the fitness is free but this employee can offer it for fifteen dollars and he can work on a custom capacity for example five people uh, working hours are pulled from the general settings so when the employee is created the working hours are pulled from here so settings working hours and days off i think it's important to note that the general working hours is not something that will determine the availability of your services but the working hours that is set under the each employee individually yes so basically these working hours uh, apply only to new employees for example we can change the working hours to start from 10 and last until 7 pm so when we save this and apply to all days including the weekend and when we save it this will not affect the front end so when we refresh the front end booking page and select the only employee that we have so we we will not select the employee but instead a service so we select a service and you can see that it's offered from 9 a.m. so nothing changed um, as Olga mentioned these working hours apply to the employee so it doesn't matter that we've changed these the global working hours apply only to new employees. So basically this employee works from Monday to Friday from nine to five. And you can even make it a bit more interesting. So for example, from 10 until 12, this employee is going to work only on the fitness um, service. So when you click on save on Monday, he will work from 10 to till noon only on fitness then you can add another period from 12 until 3 where the employee is going to work only on yoga so when we save that we have employees working hours from 10 to 3 and then we can combine both so from 3 until 5 the employee works on all assigned services so there's no need to check everything uh, the services in this select box uh, this is worth mentioning because if you add new services and you select these two when you add new services those new services will not be automatically assigned so it's better to leave it like this if you want the employee to be assigned to all his assigned services so now the employee works from 10 to 5 that doesn't look very well let's add a break um, from 5 till 6 no from 5 sorry until sorry i'm looking at the wrong place uh okay so break will be from one until two save that and we've got a break so when we save this and we refresh the front end booking page on mondays am i correct i believe i am yes on mondays the employee will work from 10 until 12 on the fitness um, service. So at the moment, it's not available. Why would it not be available? Because we've added the working hours from 10 until noon, which is two hours. But the fitness has a duration of three hours. So what we need to do is either lower the duration of the service or increase the working hours of the employee. So for the purpose of this video, I'll just lower that to two hours. Let's save it. And again, refresh the front end booking page. So we can see Mondays. 
Okay, so fitness. With this now, Mondays are shown on the 18th from 10 to 12 or from 3 to 5. We can just switch to a different service, yoga. And when we continue on Mondays, let's choose the same date from 12 to 1, from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4, and from 4 to 5. So basically, this is how your employees can cover multiple services on different times. Uh, the days off, if you add days off in here, those will apply to the employees. So for example, we add a day off for New Year's and set that to be December 31st. Repeat yearly, add a day off and save that. So when we refresh the page, go back into the employee's profile and check the days off, we will see that December 31st is a non-working day for this employee. That's the company's day off. You can, always, you can also add a, a personal day off for this employee. Um, so that's great if you have some national holidays or something like that, like Salah did uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, but if your employee goes on a vacation or takes a day off, you can just configure that day off individually for him. Yeah, so for example, vacation from, let's say, August 10th until August 19th, add a day off, and that's it. This employee will not be available in these dates. Um, special days are something that's useful if, for example, the employee has to go to a doctor's appointment. So let's just edit this day and then make it apply to all services. So we save the special day here and we save the different set of the different date. So the doc uh, he has to go to the doctor's appointment so he can work from uh, 9 until, sorry, 9. So, okay. I can't add nine because my ending time is at seven. So let's add the ending time at noon. Then we can add here nine. So this employee is gonna work from nine to till noon. And then he's gonna to go to the doctor's appointment. Then we add a period when he comes back, supposedly at two. So he's gonna work from two until five. And save this special day. So on April 13th, this employee will not be available between noon and 2 p.m. So basically we can just go back and check and see how that looks on the front end. Any service because we've assigned both services to this employee on April 14th. So this is, what did I do? Why is it showing AM? Oh, that's because I'm looking at this one. I'm, I'm supposed to be looking at 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so from nine until 11 and from two until four. Now you can see the difference here uh, because the employee is supposed to work from nine till 12. So it shows from nine till 11. Again, we come back to the service duration, which is two hours and employee can cover these two hours. From, now, from 11 until noon is only one hour. So those two hours of the service don't fit in there and that's why that time slot is not uh, enabled. You can allow your customers to choose anywhere between nine and 10 since it's a two hour long service. So when we refresh this, actually we don't need to refresh it, just select the service again, continue. Now, you can see all these 15 minute increment uh, time slots because we've disabled the option for the service duration to follow the, the time slot. So when this is disabled, these this default time slot step is applied to employees working hours. So basically uh, the customer will have 15 minute of increments to choose. So if someone wants to book an appointment from 9.45 until 11.45, he can do that, but if he does that, everything that's two hours before 9.45 and that's two hours after 
1145 is going to be removed when this customer books. So the next customer won't be able to book these time slots because again of the duration of the service. Great, thank you Alexander. You're welcome. And thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you have any suggestions uh, of what you want us to see uh, do next, also leave those in the comments below. And until next time, see you guys. Take care, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.